what is up you guys it's your favorite to reader and i am back with another read okay any periods period i am still taking personal readings you guys can catch at me at many sign caprice cooks you can also email me or apple pay me at caprice cooks at icloud.com all right y'all work on energy energy is fluid so this could be about you this could be about the person that you think about or anybody thinking about you um also time is an illusion so this could be about the past the present or the future but somehow it's affecting you right now okay all right y'all so we will be doing a little change to the channel okay so y'all i feel like during this quarantine there is not 12 different zodiac signs of information that i can be putting out there i mean we all are so connected and we are all experiencing the same things right now i feel like it's so important that we don't separate ourselves from each other and we kind of just put all of all of everything into everything like i don't know a better way that i can say it or put it but i feel like the way that i want to start doing videos is allowing myself to do like a video a day for everybody for the whole collective for just anybody who will resonate with the video um and these are going to be like hour long videos or like 30 minute 40 minute videos where i just kind of sit here and channel and pull cards for y'all and we just kind of chit chat and see what's going on um, I feel like this is way more important than just going and diving into well, how does somebody feel about me and what are how are they feeling and what are they saying and what are they telling their friends and, you know, little stuff like that. I'm not saying that that stuff is little. I'm not saying that that stuff isn't important, but I feel like you guys can find that elsewhere. There are a lot of tarot readers here on YouTube, so you can find that elsewhere. You can find sign and astrology videos elsewhere, but for now not forever for now i'm just gonna stick to doing a mass collective video every single day all right so yeah y'all this one is for tuesday the 21st tuesday april 21st so i feel like a lot of capricorn energy and we are moving into what is it a uh, full moon in taurus a lot of Venusian energy, a lot of love and communication and relationships, a lot of form and friendships, a lot of family bonds, a lot of forgiveness in within family units. Nothing even matters. I feel like a lot of things that happened within your childhood, a lot of things that happened um, within past relationships are being diminished. I feel like you're realizing that the people that you're coming into contact with are just meant to be in your life and these people are not meant to do you harm. Um, this is coming out of that feeling of struggle and pain and resentment and anger towards other people because you couldn't find forgiveness, because you couldn't have compassion for them or because you didn't understand them. Um, this is kind of being like nothing, none, of, none of that stuff matters anymore. What people did to me in the past, I no longer have to sit in it. I no longer have to live in it. I no longer have to tell myself that I'm a certain way because of it. This is no longer living in struggle and pain every day. Learning to find your joy. Learning to navigate your life. I feel like the color yellow is so important right now. It's so vibrant. I've been wearing it too for like three days. Um, I feel like it's just it's just the energy. It's that childlike energy. It's seeing ladybugs. It's counting the spots. I did that today. It's a lot of counting. A lot of numerology. A lot of... Um, um coming into like activation codes and seeing numbers on your phone and stuff like that it's 824 and it's 154 over there on my stove feel free to look up any angel numbers mentioned in this video so check what houses you have taurus in i don't i'm not sure what degrees but this capricorn card keeps coming out i feel like you have to surrender to this boss like energy you have to surrender to discipline you know, if you have a business at home or if you have like um, a team or something, I feel like you have to be the authoritarian or whatever that word is. But I feel like you kind of have to step into that work, that role of authority where it's like, OK, if you have children and they're running amok around the house, I feel like you have to step in that role as a parent and be like, OK, now we have rules. Y'all are going to help with the house. Y'all are going to help clean or y'all are going to sit down and do this or, you know, establish time out or establish a routine, a nighttime routine or get into a routine of reading to your children or just um interacting more with them having fun with them with this jupiter card here this is like expanding your relationship transforming the relationship um also i feel like nothing matters when it comes to your career i feel like your career is expanding a lot and it's transforming 
also outside of that and just in your internal body i feel like you're coming like through a death process i feel like your soul is like leaving your body like i'm literally feeling like a lot of astral traveling a lot of dream space um reality a lot of outer body experiences where you don't really feel um present and I feel like it's because you're in between two worlds right now. It feels like you are very connected to your spirituality right now. And it feels like your head is in the clouds. It feels like you're not really here or your your judgment is a little bit clouded or you just feel cloudy. I just heard somebody's pee could be cloudy. I don't know what kind of medical term that is. It could also be your pets. It could also be a pet. Um, yeah, I don't know what medical thing that is. I also just heard some like, like eating asparagus or like the, the food that you're eating is making you smell some type of way. But yeah, this is just that vulnerability. Like I'm hearing like, um, it's a song by J. Cole and your vulnerability is honorable. Da -da 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 -da. The past ain't been so honest to you. I don't know what the song is. If y'all know, leave it in the comments down below. But, um... I'm a dog. My ears perk up at the sound of your name. It's kind of just like admiration, like for yourself. Just kind of being like, damn, like I've really created passion out of struggle. I've really created drive and motivation and inspiration. Like this is coming into that role of stepping into, okay, hey, people look up to me. Or, you know, like I have a child looking up to me. Or, you know, this could be you being like, okay, I'm finally going to have a child after waiting for so long. Now I have somebody looking up to me. You know, it feels like nothing but you. Like, you have, you've always had nothing but you. And now, you kind of have another being, another life. You could be adopting a child. Um, there, A family member could have passed away. And you're having to take care of a child. It feels like it's just you rolling a dice on life right now. It's like you have so much faith in the divine, in source, in universe that you're accepting this death process. This this new moon in Taurus is bringing in a death process in within your relationships. I feel like the mystery is that whoever you are in close quarters with, whoever you are in close Hello. Okay. Bye. Um 33 thank you to the masters, but yeah, it's just kind of like, I feel like this new energy is kind of coming into these relationships that you're forming. I feel like they're triggering you, like past life triggers. Um, this could have been, a you could have been a king or some kind of boss or some kind of ram. Um, it feels like, it feels like some kind of animalistic, prim, primal, um, territorial type of trigger that's happening right now where people have always done you wrong or mistreated you and you haven't really gotten apologies or you haven't really smoothed things over or people haven't really smoothed things over with you or maybe when you get into fights with people you don't know how to apologize and smooth things over with them it feels like a communication bearer that's here and that's triggering you it's complicated because you know that these people are bombshells you know that god has brought these people in um to not complicate your life but to make your life more complex to make your life more whole you know i feel like the people who are coming into your life are meant to be soul partners meaning they're meant to bounce ideas off of you and help your wings grow and help you flourish um i feel like opposing ideas opposing groups of people are starting to come together are start opposing ideas are starting to have compassion for one another you know it's like okay I do my stuff like this, you do your stuff like this, but let's incorporate how we do our stuff, right? So this is a coming together. Tell him I love him, like, we'll be all right. This is nurturing your children, your family, your significant others, your partners, your um, whoever, your colleagues, you know, just encouraging your fellow mothers, your fellow fathers, single parents, um, you know, joining communities and um, text groups or group chats or whatever, just uh, joining into a spiritual community or some type of community where it's like people are helping you transform, people are helping you get to where you're going. This is holding on tight to crystals. I just heard selenite, black tourmaline, turquoise. 
tell him I need him. I feel like this is coming out of a depressive like energy and you don't know why you depressed. It's just like you you know you need God, you know you want to call on God, but you don't know what you need to to release. You don't know how to be realistic about what it is that you need. You don't know how to ask for help. I feel like somebody is not knowing how to express love. They just know how to show it. But the way that they show it, maybe somebody else doesn't understand. But somebody is seeing you as a bombshell. This could be you seeing yourself as a bombshell coming into this energy where it's like, I am so worthy. I am so deserving of the finer things. This is no longer thinking things are expensive. No longer telling yourself you're in lack or like you can't have. I feel like you're really curious about things. You're really curious about new activities, about new ventures, about your spirituality, about your gifts. I feel like you're researching a lot of stuff. Um, there's a lot of mystery around you right now. There's a lot of confusion, but I feel like that, that confusion is sending you into curiosity. And it's killing old burdens. It's killing old fears because you're no longer curious about them. You're seeking those answers. 831 equal 84 equal 12. Thank you, Ascendant Masters. So I feel like there is a spiritual guide around you. There is an angel around you that is helping you to find peace. Um, and I'm feeling like it's a galactic being or an alien ancestor or something like that. Because with these vials here, I feel like they're working on you or I feel like they're healing you. I feel like they're, I just heard tantric sex, but I feel like there is a, a sense of like um, spirit kind of moving the puzzle pieces around for you. It's kind of like, I feel like you real confused and you don't really know what to do. Ace of Cups. You, it's like you know that you love yourself, but maybe right now you feel a little bit depleted or you feel a little bit in lack. I feel like because somebody is triggering you to see things about yourself, like maybe your shadow side, the, the foggy side, the side that you don't really like about yourself. Somebody is like either telling you about yourself or forcing you to see yourself, forcing you to see your faults and your ways. It's kind of like it's not just about money. It's not just about money. I feel like there's a relationship for me and somebody saying like, it's not just about money. Like money isn't our biggest problem or money isn't the root of the problem. Somebody doesn't feel accomplished enough. Um, so this is actually not going to be a long read because as y'all just heard, my baby daddy just called and said that they on their way with Kamaya. Um, <clears throat> so I will do another one. I will do another one, but this is just kind of like a quick intro to how the videos will be from now on. Just period spiritual messages, um, until the quarantine is done. Just a video every day, just kind of like explaining the energy of that day, explaining what's to come. And again, like I always say, energy is fluid, so um, it can go any which way, it can happen any which day, you know, any which month, you know. So, with that Capricorn card and the Vortex, as y'all know, the, 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 the Vortex is the Devil card. The Devil card is the Capricorn card. This is a, that energy of feeling depressed and feeling like your mind is warped. You know, this is realizing that there is no place else to go. There is no place better than this. You have to pull yourself out of this anxiety. You have to transform your thoughts because you are a bombshell and you manifested this. This fear is just temptation. right it's like you come naked as the day you come your whole self come in your whole truth and that temptation of feeling like somebody the ball is going to drop or something bad is going to happen is no longer going to be there because you're living in your truth and anytime you're living in your truth truth and honesty is just going to be attracted to you naturally so if you are feeling like somebody is doing something or anything like that it could be guilt not only could it be guilt, but it could be past triggers. Again, somebody triggering you, being so good to you, making you realize, hmm, I really can't fuck this relationship up. I really can't mess this up. I really can't, you know, stay in this energy. Because if I stay in this energy, I'm going to fuck this up. If I don't have this self-love for myself, if I don't have enough love for myself to realize that this person, this situation, this job, this opportunity, these assets that I've been giving, this stimulus check, whatever... You know, this is not spending your money on temptation and on things that are just fun or cute or, I don't know, weed. 
you know, weed, liquor, having a good time, parties, hotels, you know, this is, this is being like, look, the fun is still included without me spending all my money. If you are going to spend your money, I feel like invest, spend your money on things like hobbies, doing things like that are going to make you feel good, crafts. You know, this is not being hard on yourself about the money that you have been tempted to spend. Because I feel like if you were tempted to spend it, God led you to spend it. And you can't be in this, this temptation, like energy feeling like, well, damn, I'm mad at myself because I spent that money. Because then you, you falling into guilt. And then every time you look at whatever you spent that money on, you, you're not going to feel good about it. So then your money is going to be attached to what? To guilt. Your gift is going to be trapped in a box of guilt because it's tainted i broke down crying to this song the other night pretending to be spiritual this is like feeling like your life is fake feeling like you're not really doing what you're supposed to be doing it's like i feel like i'm fake spiritual sometimes because i still go through shit i feel like i always got to be positive i feel like i always have to be in a good energy i feel like i and last night i told myself like i'm depressed i told my boyfriend like i'm depressed and then in a tub, I was thinking to myself, like, I don't want to manifest stuff for myself. I don't want to tell myself I'm depressed. But now that I'm looking back and I'm thinking about it, it's like, why not? Depression is a normal emotion, just like sadness, just like fear. You know, and I feel like when we don't acknowledge emotions, that's when they consume us. That's when they put us in a vortex. That's when they take over us. And I feel like I am depressed. I am in the energy of transformation. It's not depression so that I'm in a negative headspace, but it's a depression so that I can realize who I am. I can balance myself out. I can understand my shadow side. I can go in that negative energy and use it to my benefit. I can realize, okay, these are things I need to work on without being hard on myself, without hating myself, you know, without telling myself I'm damaged. This is realizing within my damage that I'm still lovable, that I'm still beautiful, that I'm still here and that I'm still a goddess. That I'm still powerful in all of my essence, in all of my being, in all of my struggle. I am still me. I'm still exactly who God made me to be. You know, I feel like a lot of us are being exposed to who we really are, to our true powers. And it's kind of fearful. It's kind of scary because it's like we've we've been programmed. We The blood that we have in our body, the, the food, the processed food the, that we've eaten, the shots that we've gotten over the years, just... The programming that has been embedded in us have always told us, like, you're the eyeball out, you're strange, you're different. But it's like, we're the divergence. Like, we're the ones who are able to do everything. We are all encompassing. We don't believe in one religion. We are not in a fraction or a faction, whatever they called it on the movie. You know, we are everything. If y'all watch the movie Divergent, I promise y'all, the factionless are the special needs people. I say that because there are special needs in every race in every country, in every form, in every way. Special needs is just factionless. The ones who are looked at as not worthy, as not good enough, they don't fit in. They're different. Even spiritual people, we can be classified as special needs because this is mental health. This is mental health. Spirituality is mental health. Special needs is mental health. When people have Tourette's, that's fighting their body, fighting this human experience, not being able to speak, having autism. All of those are spiritual as, powerful as, powerful as, powerful as life lessons that you came here to deal with. Powerful as. Those are powerful as beings who were equipped with, with that much responsibility to deal with that, to deal with that. And we're looked at as the ones who are different or special needs. We are the divergence. We are all encompassing. We can do everything. We can understand all walks of life. This is like getting into all different religions, researching all different religions, being able to talk to all different kind of people, being able to relate to white people, black people, Asian people, Mexican people, um, um, Indian people, Haitian people, Jamaican people. I don't know. Every kind of people. You know, kids, children, teenagers, young adults, older people, elders, ancestors. You know, ascended masters, being able to talk to God, being able to hear God. This is like literally learning how to transform your communication, being able to just be one and whole within your truth. Like once you can speak your truth to yourself, you can speak your truth to anybody. To anybody. 840, thank you, ascended masters, equals 12, equals 3, 3. Mm, thank you, ascended masters. Listen, 
I feel like whenever I hear or see or feel the vibration of the number three, and as soon as I look over there, I kid y'all not, it's 210. It's 210 over there on my stove. I will show y'all, but house kind of a mess. Y'all might not even be able to see it. Y'all can't see it. Okay. But it's a 210 over there. That's what's up. Whenever I see three, I just always think of like giving birth, you know, a higher power or a mother. Like I just feel like the three is the bust in the in the womb of a woman. You know, this is giving birth to all that transformational energy. Once you die, once you are that death process happens, you are reborn. Two 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 thank you, Ascending Masters. You know, I feel like there is a rebirth there. I feel like y'all are pushing right now. Y'all are in labor. Y'all are in labor right now. That's what this Ace of Cups is. This, this is a baby. Full of love, full of life. You coming into this world pure as day as a whole new person. As a whole new person. God has already given you protection. God has already let you back in. Because you've established your kingdom. If you can establish a kingdom here on earth. That means you have mastered your kingdom. Because guess what? This right here, this is all fake. This is all a simulation. Everything that we have out here is, is something that we made up out of our imagination based on what we see in our dreams in the spiritual realm. Not even just our dreams, but in, in our subconscious. So the person who created a bow did something like this. Spiritually, this is probably a flower, an open flower where people in a spiritual realm used to cook up potions with herbs and stuff or something right i don't know and somebody was like oh i saw that i saw that in my dream let me let me use dirt to make this let me let me do that let me create this because that's what i saw that's what i think i saw just like when a kid draw after a drawing and they just drawing and they just draw even when you paint or when you do start painting Start drawing, start doing stuff like a child because you are being reborn. This is tapping into that childlike energy because you are being rebirthed, <laughs> you know? It's like loving you is like a battle. If you are in a relationship, if this is a marriage, if this is you and your child, this is like, this This relationship is going to be a battle. You and your child going to fight. You're going to cuss their ass out. You're going to make mistakes. Sometimes you can't feed their ass. Sometimes you is going to snap the fuck out. Sometimes you is going to send their ass away. All that shit. But don't nobody love you more than your child? Nobody will ever love you more than your child. This is like giving birth to that child and understanding. Like, look, I was rebirthed when I had you. This ain't no game. I'm taking care of a whole person. Even if you don't have children. You taking care of your inner child. You taking, that's a responsibility. To heal your inner, your inner child. Your inner child is screaming for you. And then you just pretend like, oh, I can't stay. I can't stay in that childlike energy. Why? Why? You telling yourself, your adult self is telling your childlike self, oh, you have to be adult. You have to put on your big girl panties. Says who? I can be in my imaginative state all day if I want to. I can manifest and create and pretend all I want to. All I want to. And right make that my reality. If we have a kingdom and a legacy here on earth, what makes you think that you are not divinely guided to have that? If you have dreams about it, if you have visions about it, if you wake up feeling like, mm, I'm going to be great. Understand that you are charged up by God. God gave you that energy. God showed you something. Even people who don't remember their dreams, you know, even people who are just getting onto this journey. It's kind of like you don't have to explain yourself. God doesn't have to explain herself. I feel like the proof is in the pudding. Everything that you're seeing is for real. Everything that's coming to the light is for real. The people you're around, the people you're coming into contact with, these people are supposed to be in your life forever. These relationships are expanding. Why? Because you're, ex you're, you're letting go of things that you no longer need. You're no longer expanding on things that hurt you. You know, you're no longer sitting in pain. You're no longer living in the basic ass lifestyle no more. 
you've already learned whatever lessons God had in store for you in that in that mindset. Right? Ace of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. This is like, this is a gift. You having this home life, this family life, you might feel like it's crazy. But you've nurtured yourself enough to deserve this. You've cared for yourself. You've gotten yourself to a whole, to a whole next type of level in life to where you saw this in your dream and you said, bitch, I'm going to make this happen. This is not letting no sideline hoes, niggas, jobs, opportunities, people, friends, whoever, family members. This is not letting nobody distract you and get in your way of what you got going on. Not telling nobody your business. Not involving anybody in your assets in the complicated shit that you got going on. You know? In your anxiety, in your problems, in your drama. I feel like right now... Right now ain't the time for gossip. Right now is the time for like, I, I know people want to vent to their friends and stuff, but honestly, I feel like everybody dealing with so much that we all need to kind of focus on ourselves and focus on not being so codependent. We all have to focus on how to heal ourselves. So when we are coming to contact with our friends, we're not just draining each other. We're filling each other up. So we're talking about our business plans. We're not always just talking about, oh, I'm, I'm hurting this and I'm hurting that. Sometimes our healing work has to be done alone. Has to be done alone. Has to be. And a lot of times we be scared to face that. So we always want to be with our friends. Even in this quarantine, people is like, we kicking it. A lot of people, we kicking it. Y'all having parties and Airbnbs and, and, and um, sleepovers and fun and drinking and parties and smoking and all kind of stuff. But the person sitting right next to you could not love themselves enough to be like, look, I need to manifest this because my mind is sick. My body feels sick. Right? I'm fearful. I have fear. I have anxiety. That's what this is. Hello? All right, here I come. All right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I am taking personal readings. You guys can catch me on many time Caprice Cooks. You can also email me or Apple Pay me at CapriceCooks at iCloud.com. All right, y'all. I'm out of here.